Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. As you already know, I'm wearing my Charlie Brown shirt as to prepare for the new upcoming Peanuts movie that we've been waiting for for over 30 years now. That's right, and this time it's going to be animated by the same creators that gave us Ice Age. You know, Blue Sky Studios is going to animate an adaptation of the pop of the most popular comic strips of all time created by Charles M. Schultz also known as Sparky as people refer to who created one of one of their favorite blockheads of all time good old Charlie Brown along with his dog Snoopy and Woodstock you know, his, his, his yellow bird friend along with the rest of the cast including Linus Van Pelt who has a security blanket along with her sister Lucy who is a crabby yeah, who always goes around you know, taking the football away from Charlie Brown gives him some psychiatric help for five cents does a lot of crap to him and of course falls in love with a piano player Schroeder, who's obsessed with Beethoven, and as well as the rest of the game, including Peppermint Patty, Marcy, Franklin, Sally, which is Charlie Brown's sister, Frida, Pick Pan, as well as uh, Rerun, which is Linus, yeah, Linus and Lucy's younger brother. Uh, the little redhead girl, which Charlie Brown you know, really loves, and, and all the rest of the game, even Violet <laughs> and Sherman, Patty, yeah, <laughs> the entire cast. So um, when I heard that they were going to uh, work on the upcoming film I was really excited because being a fan of Charlie Brown since I was very little yeah you because know, I remember watching the Charlie Brown Christmas on TV along with all the other specials that followed I always adore you know collecting the entire um, merchandising of Charlie Brown you know I started getting started reading all the comic strips and I remember renting them at the library all the time and, and then I started getting all the dowels and the books and all the other stuff too. Even the VHS tapes that I collect them. And then later I got the DVDs. Yeah, hopefully I get more of them someday. Because I know I am. And all the and the Blu-rays and all that. And then oh man! And then I started buying so many uh, books at the bookstore, and I've been getting them ever since. <laughs> Yeah, and all these other um, collectibles, even on the back and, and around this area. So, and I'm, and of course, I'm wearing my clothes. It includes Charlie Brown right here. Yeah, I, I just never get tired of it. I, it's, it's so addicting. I just can't help but love it. I remember. I also remember watching the Charlie Brown Snoopy show every day when it aired and. I you know, always like to see what's going on, you know, you know, about a lot of crazy things, you know. and, <laughs> and they always have the catchphrases such as, I can't stand it, good grief, <laughs> and all this other, and all the others that fall, you know. it's just a treat. Yep, created by. Yeah, Charles M. Schultz had been creating the entire um, comic strips as well as the TV specials, movies, which I've owned, by the way. I own all four movies A Boy Named Charlie Brown, Snoopy Come Home, Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, and Von Viage, Charlie Brown, and Don't Come Back. Yeah. The sad part is, only the last two films that I own um, were only on VHS since. Uh, the first two have been released on VHS. 
and then later on DVD for the very first time in widescreen. Yeah. And you got to see more scenes than ever before. Yeah, unfortunately it hasn't been on Blu-ray yet, but I hope I get a chance to see them. And I never get tired of all the holiday specials that aired on TV, which already been on DVD, Blu-ray, VHS, you name it. And hopefully I can get the entire collections and everything, because I just never get tired of them. <laughs> and my personal favorite of out of the Charlie Brown specials is, of course, the Charlie Brown Christmas, because you can't go wrong on what's going on, you know. But Charlie Brown once he's starting to direct a Christmas play only to find out that commercialism is taking over the world. It's taking over the holiday season. And the fact that he doesn't know what Christmas is all about. Anyway, um, I always enjoy it. And never get tired of it. Even at my age. Well, I'm... Well, just recently, um, I just saw the, the new trailer of the upcoming Peanuts film that's coming out in 2015, which I can't wait to see it yep, next year. It's it's going to be produced by Paul Feig as well. Yep, the same guy who gave us um, Bridesmaids, uh, The Heat, and as well as Freaks and Geeks. Yeah. He's been directing some movies for a while. And he's already working on the upcoming Ghostbusters project. You know. Which I'm having some, which I'm feeling very skeptical on that one. But nevertheless, I hope it might be as good as I hope for. So. Well, also with the help of Craig Schultz, the son of uh, Charles M. Schultz, and it's going to be directed by Steve Martino, the same director that gave us Horton Hears a Who and Ice Age Cognitive Drift. Yep. So he's going to be directing the new film. And after seeing uh, the very first teaser that came out earlier in March, I saw the beginning of uh, the round head. It seems like a tribute to the opening of the 2001 Space Odyssey. They even played a theme as well. And all of a sudden, I was fooled because I knew from the second it, it was going to be, as we speak, Charlie Brown's round head. And then... They got to play the famous Linus and Lucy theme by Vince Garaldi. And, oh man, I was like pumping up, jumping for joy with excitement having to see this. And the animation that they chose actually lives up the spirit because it looked to me like they just made it into a 2D, f they made it into a 3D form. Yeah, give it sort of, so they added some CG, so they basically added, uh, some computer animation to uh, live up with the spirit of, which, of what the Peanuts game would look like. Especially with Charlie Brown and Snoopy. So they almost live up to the originals just in, in 3D CGI form. So it looks really cool. But after that I finally saw the very brand new trailer which this time we get to see more of it. So now it's set on Christmas time and it just shows a clip of Snoopy dressed up as a World War I flying ace. And, and while he was on the, the doghouse, as usual, he, he was imagining, he's actually imagining that he's actually flying all the way around on his, uh, air, on his airplane. And, and, he, and yeah, he flew all the way around through the Eiffel Tower in London, so... It was really awesome, and then, and then after that he crashed. You know, lands on, the, and then after that he lands. <laughs> but then, um, after that, we got to see um, the title, and then we show um, the background of, of Charlie Brown, you know, trying to find a seat while he was holding two popcorns on his hand, and and Lucy was saying. Move out of the way, blockhead! And then while he tries to get the seat, he actually trips, and suddenly you know, the popcorn went straight in his head, and, and he says, Good grief! And the whole game was laughing. Yeah. 
It looks beautiful. Um, I just can't wait to see this movie. I, I hope that since the studio Fox is releasing this film instead of Warner Brothers or Paramount or whatever, I hope they don't uh, put all these pop culture references or any of this other stuff at random. Because like what happened on Horton Hears a Who, they put a lot of this other stuff like Facebook and all that in the mix, which it didn't seem right, but that's okay. It didn't bother me much, but I just hope they don't end up doing that to uh, Charlie Brown. Because it's supposed to live up to the originals and it's supposed to stay that way. And I don't think anybody would know about, you know, today's technology. And it's supposed to be, you know, the modern day world as we speak. Yeah. Because, you know, Charles M. Schultz was a legend. You know, and I never get tired of, of reading the comics and everything. You know, especially during Saturday mornings, you know, when, or any morning when I grab a newspaper, I always look at the comics and look at the penis game, so just a laugh. <laughs> and just anyway, um I'm glad this is gonna turn out to be as good as it can be, and I hope it remains because once this movie comes out, it's going to be on my top of my list of the top 20 you know, films of two, top 20 best films of 2015. Yeah, let's hope so because you know I really want to see this movie a lot, and hopefully I get to see this movie again and again and again. Yeah. So yeah, so that's my uh, reaction to the trailer of the upcoming film Peanuts. And I can't wait to see it. Bye.